a look at Loungefly. Hey everyone, it's Liz. Welcome back to this week's episode of A Look at Loungefly. And today we are looking at our beautiful Sleeping Beauty collection. We're so excited to have the next in our Princess Castle series collection. So now we have Sleeping Beauty, which features gorgeous artwork that was hand painted in house. It features the scene of Aurora walking in the forest in front of the castle. And like all of the pieces in the series, you have the castle on the front and then you have the great happily ever after moment on the back because we love a happily ever after. We know everybody loved our Cinderella pin book mini backpack. So we brought it back with Sleeping Beauty this time. And this mini backpack is absolutely gorgeous. The details, we have the gems all around the edges that are debossed, so they have a great texture to them. You have the ridges on the side of the book. And what's great is this pin trader opens up and has so much room for pins. You can fit all of your favorite pins and we even give you one to get you started. All of us at Lounge Light are super excited to be introducing more casual apparel pieces for you. So to go with our new Sleeping Beauty collection, we have our unisex tee. This has a beautiful make it pink, make it blue tie dye all over. And my favorite part is the storytelling in this tee. So on one sleeve you have Flora, on one sleeve you have Meriwether and they are fighting to decide what color the dress will be. You also have Fauna down here and you have this happily ever moment so it ties to the bags. And I'm wearing our Make It Pink, Make It Blue crop hoodie. This hoodie is way too much fun. It's split in half so you have Team Pink and Team Blue competing to change the dress color. And what I love is the color block sleeve so you have a fully embroidered make it pink on this sleeve, fully embroidered make it blue on this sleeve. As always, we have our lanyard um, pin trading draw cords and even the tips are pink and blue. We have our lounge fly silicone plaque and the lining of this hood coordinates with this beautiful pink and blue tie dye as well. So whether you're team pink or team blue, this entire collection is available on loungefly.com now. Let us know which piece is your favorite. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Funko Fun TV. Let's play Funko Games. Hello gamers and welcome to this week's episode of Let's Play Funko Games. I'm Adam and today we are going to be answering the age old question. Do you prefer your pop tarts frozen or toasted? I am Team Frozen, so do not at me in the comments. We're gonna be taking a look at Kellogg's Pop-Tarts Game. This is a family card game for two to six players where you will be trying to eat the most delicious Pop-Tarts to score the most points at the end of the game. Setup is easy. You're going to put seven Pop-Tarts cards in the center of the table. You're gonna put the toaster on the left side and the freezer on the right side. Then you're going to give each player a reference card and a plate card along with three action cards. Put the rest of the action cards to the top of the table. Then you're going to take three of the bonus cards and lay them out on top. You're gonna to put the arrow underneath, which I'll talk about in just a second, and you are ready to play. On your turn, you can play up to three action cards if you want to. Those action cards are going to rearrange the line of Pop-Tarts. Once you have a Pop-Tart plated, you can choose to eat it. Eating the Pop-Tart lets you score the number of points listed on that card. However, you might try to go for one of the bonus cards. Those are going to score you five points. In order to score those, you need to eat the cards listed on that bonus card, prepared either frozen or toasted, or a set of three. The card will tell you which one. At the end of your turn, you can choose to eat one of the Pop-Tarts on your plate. If you do, you score the number of points listed on that card. However, you might try to go for one of the bonus cards by eating the combination of Pop-Tarts you see on that card. After you've played all of the action cards you want to, you're going to plate the Pop-Tart card that is closest to either the toaster or the freezer, whichever direction the arrow is pointing. Play continues until a player has scored 30 points. Then everyone else gets one more chance to score any points that they can, and then everyone totals the points that they have eaten and any bonus cards, and the player with the most points wins. And that is Kellogg's Pop-Tarts game. I'm Adam, Team Frozen, and until next time, let's play. 